Hey everyone, welcome to a new video. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can use Harpa AI for your blog writing. Okay, so as you guys know, we create some really cool videos around around blogging and creating passive income through blogging. And one of the most important things when you're creating your blog is to create blog posts that are essentially SEO researched. And when you take that SEO research keyword, that is the title or the concept of your blog post, you have to create other content around or you have to that content around that keyword has to have certain, I guess you can say SEO keywords within it, or there are certain things that should be mentioned for that keyword. Well, Harpa AI here has a section within its usage called the Keyword Strategy Generator. If you're not sure how to use Harpa AI, you could literally just go to the website, go ahead and download it and uh, activate it on your browser. And once you go ahead and do that, you're going to be able to actually use it. And so I figured we can go ahead and do a test with my website uh, of one of my blog posts, Do Onions Increase Testosterone? Okay, and I actually have the blog post right here. So we wrote, a, uh, you know, a good amount. We improved it a little bit about onions and, and how do they or do they or do they not improve testosterone? There's a whole article on that. Regardless, what we did here was we prompted... Harpa. So all you have to do is type this little slash button right here, and then you get a whole bunch of different commands. Now, in our case, we don't need to do that because we already did, and we selected the keyword strategy generator. So if you literally just type in this little slash and you scroll down, you'll find something that will say ca uh, keyword strategy generator. In fact, you could actually give it a little heart icon uh, so that the next time you use it, um, it's quick access for you there. But anyways it's gonna tell you to enter a keyword. So you're gonna go ahead and enter a keyword here, which is the keyword that you want your title for your blog to be, okay? Now, a little FYI, guys, when you have a title for your blog, you do wanna uh, make sure that that title is in your URL handle. So if you go over here, to the settings button on the blog post, and then you go to the post URL, you do click do onions increase testosterone. That's our keyword. That's what we want to rank for on Google. All right. So here is the title, do onions increase testosterone question mark, the ultimate guide. Ours is not a guide. It's just information. So you can see here, do onions increase, to increase testosterone. Here we have some frequently asked questions, right? And then we have related queries. So these are concepts that are related. And then we have long tail keywords. Well, we could actually utilize a lot of these different things. So related uh, queries, we can have other blog posts written with these concepts. So it depends on the topic, of course, but like something like this, what foods lower testosterone? That could be a query that instead of being a query, we can have that as a whole entire blog post. Now, the way that Harpa is able to create this content here is simply through ChatGPT. So Harpa has built-in prompts, just like a Agent GPT that I've spoken to you guys about before. There, these systems have prompts that do API communication between the internal aspect of the software to GPT itself, which is this software here, the OpenAI. And it's communicating with it. And what it does is it will say, you know, with this keyword, and then it will write the keyword that I told it, provide me the following, and it will do FAQs, related queries, long tail keywords, etc. So that's what Harpa does, right? Harpa, it has an internal prompt system, depending on the prompt that you select, that will further prompt to GPT, almost like a copy and paste kind of style. So instead of you, or a shortcut kind of style, instead of you typing, hey, GPT, give me the title, FAQs, related queries, long tail keywords, keywords, etc. Just provide from, you know, instead of doing that, that's what Harpa will do for you through GPT, right? And you can see here, there's a lot of different things you can access. So FAQs for the video, or excuse me, for the article, because this is a blog post. So, but also keep in mind that this is generalized information. So here it says, can women also benefit from consuming onions for testosterone? To be honest, guys, this blog has nothing to do with women. It's more about testosterone. And testosterone is a male-dominated hormone, you know, very well known for weightlifting, things like that. I'm not saying that to insult anyone. I'm just, because you know now, 2023, anybody gets insulted over anything. But uh, I'm just speaking about this from the perspective of, you know, blogging for our blog, right? Our blog is just, you go to how to boost, 
how to how to sorry about this how to boost testosterone.org and this is all you know this is like a men's blog it's just obvious right so we don't want to just blindly follow everything. You have to use your mind a little bit, right? And so here it says, are there any case studies that prove we already actually go over that in the article? Things like that. So these are good. Then we have here long tail keywords related to the keyword, do onions increase testosterone? Now, in order for them to get these results, right, for Harpa, um, they're not pulling this data from like Google SEO, okay? They're, they're not pulling this data from the Google Keyword Planner tool. They're coming up with content because it's a language learning model. They're able to assume these things. It's not based on statistics, okay? So keep that in mind, all right? So here it says keywords. So keywords, the word onions here, testosterone, natural testosterone booster. That's something you want to mention in your blog. Here, testosterone levels, onion juice, uh, testosterone supplements, testosterone boost diet, uh, benefits of onions, hormone balance, testosterone production. These are keywords that we could probably add to our article uh, that will improve it. And we could actually see here the LSIs, which is uh, latent sem uh, semantic index, which basically just means the the type of keyword that it that is that it is so we have i could go over this in the future like the type of keywords you have lsis nlps you have different types of keywords so just keep that in mind but it's really not a big deal but the point is is that how often are these keywords uh, injected into the website, whether it be a title, whether it be an actual keyword, like just some data, or whether it be a subheading, something like that within the content. And it will show you here how frequent that is. So if I go over here to this side, like the word testosterone production, right? The intent is for informational. So I'll use it for an informational uh, portion of my blog. And it should only be used once. Now, this is obviously assumptions. They're not comparing these blogs in real time, but it does help, right? It does help give you some information. And it's a free alternative to using like a keyword tool. Now, I do have certain tools that I pay for that I use, which will give me a more balanced approach. This is all just straight off one language model, but it's still good, right? Here we have the slug. And the slug, once again, is what I told you guys here, is the post URL. That's what a slug is. And just as I I said it says do onions increase testosterone that's the slug that we want and like i said for you guys earlier when you have a url try most times to understand that the the slug is what's indicating to google what this article is about and i personally like to keep the slug sometimes as closely related to the title as possible all right and then here we have our entities which are main concepts so onions testosterone hormones uh aromatase uh querit Quercetin, sorry, and nutrition. Here we have our meta description. Okay, you can use your meta description here that they give you for your summary of your blog, right? So here I have, do onions increase testosterone? This is a question that many men have. Read the blog to read about, or read the blog to read about the truth about the consumption of onions and the increase in testosterone. This is probably a better one. It says, discover the truth about onions and testosterone. Learn how many onions, how many onions should you eat to increase testosterone levels. Find out about the benefits of onions for hormone balance and more. Okay, uh, this is actually not perfect. I would actually personally, if it was me, I would just go in here with the AI and just do it for me. Um, so that's a little FYI, that's what I do, but... Um, we could actually do that now if we want to. So I, I'm going to go here and grab some text just like this. Uh, let me go ahead and grab this here. Sorry, once again, my fault. Grab the text, place it here, and then I'll tell the AI. And this is not Harpa, guys. This is just straight up with the AI. I'm going to tell it uh, within Rocket Web Builder. I'm going to tell it, write me a meta description for a blog post that is all about, or that is titled, that's probably better, that is titled, Do Onions Increase Testosterone? Just like that. And I'll hit submit. And then what it will do is it will do exactly what I tell it to do. And then I'll copy that and then paste it right here. So in my summary. So discover the truth behind the, the popular belief. Hold on, let me drag this down. Discover the truth behind the popular belief that onions can boost testosterone levels naturally. This blog post explores scientific 
uh, evidence behind this claim and provides an in-depth analysis of the potential benefits and drawbacks of incorporating onions in your diet. Read on to learn more about the link between onions and testosterone and whether it is whether or not this flavorful vegetable can actually help improve your hormone levels. So that's actually a perfect uh, blog intro or what we call blog summary um, for readers. Now, if you guys are curious as to where the blog summary goes, you have to, um, not you have to, it, what it does is it's placed right here. And I'll just actually update the blog post and get rid of this empty text box right here and hit update again, it goes right here. So I'll kind of view, show you guys this. So let's go ahead and view the page, go to how to boost testosterone. It's this section right here. So the text that follows right here under the title is what explains what the article is about. That's the blog summary, all right? Um, let's get back to this though. We have the excerpt, right? Which is similar to what they're mentioning as the, as the summary, okay? Um, want to boost your testosterone levels, uh, onions may be the answer, discover surprising ways. That's actually not that bad. And then here we have finally references for the article. And the cool thing about this is they're actually good with these references because they do a Google search. So I can pull this up and this is a website from Healthline that says nine impressive health benefits of onions. And then here, let's see if they have anything about testosterone here. So... I don't think testosterone. No, they don't. So this article doesn't, which Harpo once again mentioned. Um, but hey, at least they're trying to attempt to do something. I think these PubMedical uh, blogs or NCBI blogs definitely do include something. Um, yeah, so no, this has nothing to do with it either. So you can see it is off a little bit. Like this has uh, effect of spearmint. That has nothing to do with onions. Um, so th that's just, you know, for you guys to see, but is this beneficial on some level? Yeah, it could, it could definitely spark your ideas to create more content for your blog. All right. Uh, so keep that in mind. All right, guys. So thank you guys for watching. Hopefully this video helps out the keep using the keyword strategy generator. I would say the most effective parts is like from the title all the way down to the end of like this section right here, like the entities or even the meta description. Uh, the stuff with the references, I really wouldn't use too much. It's cool to have, but it doesn't include, it doesn't really hit the nail on the head when you're looking for the content, but it's still a very, very good tool. If you guys want me to go over more sections of Harpa, I'm happy to do so, but uh, this is one of the many features within it. All right. Thank you guys for watching. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out. Bye.